Welcome to the MLRK1 Jack 12 installation video. Here we have our motor kit with the optional rec shown, upgraded to the MM5 module for one touch PTS, your end link bracket, and eight inch power lead. Now let's jump into the installation. First, we're gonna start off by sliding off the filler plate. Next, we're gonna remove the push pad end cap by removing the two screws, securing it to the push pad. Now we're going to disassemble the push pad end cap by removing all four screws. On the Conier HT style, it'll break down to three pieces. And we're going to discard that top bracket. And let's hang on to the middle bracket because we're going to reuse that. Now with the end cap disassembled, we're gonna have to remove the bottom 3 16 of material from this end cap. So there's room for the end link bracket. Once that's finished, we can reassemble our bracket with the existing middle bracket and then our end link bracket on top. Next, for CRL Jackson type end caps, we can see with this opening that there's no material that needs to be removed. So all we have to do is swap out for our end link bracket. By removing the four screws, we're going to discard that bracket and our end cap link is going to replace that. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the linkage is facing the right way. So it should be coming out the back of the push pad end cap like shown. Now we can install the four screws to secure it back to the push pad end cap. Now we're going to reinstall the push pad end cap back into the proper channel Want to make sure that it's sitting right in there between those two brackets on the base rail so that the push pad is locked in and stays in place. Reinstall the two screws to secure it to the push pad. Confirming I have minimal movement on the push pad lets me know I'm in the proper channel. Next, we'll grab our motor kit and slide it into the base rail channel, making sure all of these points shown on the motor kit are inside of the proper channel. If you're having an issue with the motor getting stuck on that back bracket, you may need to loosen those screws up a little bit so that you have enough movement that it sits in the channel properly. And we're just gonna slide it all the way up. To install the kit properly on the linkage bracket, you're gonna wanna make sure the roller is not below the link, but above it, riding on top, shown here. To set your location, you're going to push the motor kit all the way until the front of the bracket is flush with the end of the channel. If you push it too far and you can see the front of the bracket, then you've gone too far and you'll need to bring it back a smidge. Now with the roller in place and the motor kit in the proper location, we can secure the motor kit by tightening all four Allen screws. This will cause the bracket to wedge up and lock it into place. Now we're gonna grab our eight inch power lead with that locking Molex connector. So you can see I have a tab there. If I need to remove it, do not just pull on it, but make sure you release the tab first. Now let's hook up to the field tester. To set our push to set, we're going to depress the red button, apply power, get one quick beep, release power and the red button, depress the push pad to the location we want to retract to, apply power again, You'll get one long beep, and now it has learned its new location. Next, I'm gonna test it out, make sure it's the right location. Fire it off a few times, make sure the latch is coming in all the way. If it's not to my desired location, I can start the process over again. For a real life scenario, we'll turn the device on its side to make sure that push pad releases all the way. And now that we confirmed the device is retracting to the desired location and everything is working properly. So that my friends is another successful installation. I wanna see you dance.